Disturbing trend popping up all over Pasco County. Deputies warning thieves are stealing commercial lawn equipment from dozens of businesses. ABC Action News reporter Cameron Pullum spoke to one business owner who says the thieves are literally stealing his livelihood. Within about three months, we got uh, robbed twice. Pat Taylor is doing all he can to protect his business from thieves. They cut the fence, kind of came in, and you can see it through the videos that they got in between the door and the, the seat container and they cut the lock. And even with not one, not two, but five visible surveillance cameras and a stadium worth of floodlights, those thieves took off with 21 hedge trimmers, blowers, weed whackers, and more. Stole 14 pieces the first time, and that's probably around five or $6,000 worth of equipment. Now, yes, I do have insurance, thank goodness, but you only get a portion of that back. Investigators say he's not the only one either. 14 businesses have recently been hit in both West and East Pasco County. This surveillance video from last week shows two thieves stealing from a landscaping business in Wesley Chapel. Basically, we put, planted these telephone poles in the back so no one can open up the rear doors. Investigators have suggested other ways to make it more difficult for the thieves to be successful. Taylor also added new locks to his trailers that can't be cut, but says even that may not be enough unless someone comes forward and identifies the crooks. It's probably going to go on for a while before they get caught, but they, they need to be caught. And when they go to court, they need to be punished for their crimes, not let go. In Hudson, I'm Cameron Polam, ABC Action News.